Uh, first, just want to congratulate Tennessee on a great season. Uh, it was a great basketball game. Uh, I, I thought it, it was up and down the floor at times. Some, some impressive shots were made by both teams. I thought our crowd was great. Uh, it was just a really, really exciting college basketball game. I'd also like to thank, again, Tom and, and Christine and everybody with the University of Louisville, our athletic department, the Yum Center, all the volunteers, just for putting on such a first-class event. Uh, this, this is not possible without all of them. Uh, I'm quite aware of that. And uh, I don't, we don't take it for granted. Uh, so I, I just want to make sure I, I said thank you to all of them. Coach, all right, we'll take questions. Here we go. First question for Mariah. What, uh, what was your mindset going into the fourth quarter? And, and can you describe some of those plays where you got the big threes? Um, my mindset was we, we've come so far, we can't give up now. And um, I need to do whatever I could to make sure my team pushed through. And so not only was it <clears throat> trying to hit big shots, but it was also making sure that when they made mistakes, just to let them know it was okay and to keep going. Follow up for Asia, what, uh, what did you see in Mariah? It seemed like you were looking for her there late. I saw that she was very confident. Um, basically what she, she just said, she didn't want to lose and I think that she showed that when she came up clutch with those two threes in a row. I mean, I was just so hyped, I'm so excited and I'm proud of my team as well. And I think we fought hard. This was a great game, and uh, our fans are so so amazing, and I'm just so happy to be here as well. Asia, you and Mariah were responsible for 14 straight points in a row there. Uh, did you have any idea that you two were going to be the keys to start the fourth quarter? I had no idea. I was just trying to focus on stop, score, stop, because I know for us to score as a team, we have to get stops first, and that's what we did, it, we did as a team, we came up with some huge stops. And I was just so happy to see those stops that took place. Uh, Maisha, what was it like for you matching up with Diamond? Because it seemed like in the beginning you guys were giving each other a little bit of trouble and then your game really opened up in the second half. Um, well, she's a great player. Um, projected to go high in the draft, so um, it's just basically trying to keep her in front uh, of me and I know I have my teammates um, help in the back if she beat me I know my teammates were going to be there to help and then I would have their back so it was just a team effort though but just trying to keep her in front because she's such a great player and she's so fast and her pull up jumper is the best probably in the country so it was just trying to keep her in front and knowing that my teammates would have my back too. AJ was a tight game throughout but you guys over here against the wall um, but you guys were, it was a tight game throughout, but you guys held a, a slight advantage for most. What was the message from Coach when Tennessee did go on that run and took a 5 lead? Well, coming into this game, we knew it was going to be a game of runs. So that's what Coach Watts um, stressed to us way before the game even started. He told us it's going to be a game of runs, but we have to get stops first. And I think we got, we got like three stops in a row, I think. And that was huge because then we – came down and scored as well. So we just had to get stops. Mariah, uh, back here. Uh, after back here. Gotcha. After the, uh, I think the fourth of your five three-pointers, you made a gesture that looked like you were putting pistols in a holster. Uh, was, was that an accurate description? And if so, uh, what was the message you were sending? I'm going to be honest. Um, <laughs> I was feeling pretty good after the our last what five games. I think she was one for twenty one for the three point line. So she could have done a cartwheel for all I can. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was so happy because coach always stresses how we need to get in the gym. And so um, after the ACC tournament, I've been in the gym as much as I can. And so to finally see the the hard work paying off, I was just so happy. And I knew like before the game, I was like. Right, like if we do this, don't celebrate, get back on defense. So I don't even know what happened, really. I'm gonna look at the replays, but it just came out. Over this side of the room now. 
Asia, the, in, in the first quarter, well, I think the you know, first, second quarter, you had like nine points, and then you kind of had that rough stretch, and you seemed kind of frustrated there. Uh, I mean, it, it seemed like it just took one basket to kind of get, get it out of you. It, what, um, if you can just go back to that point and feel like you were pressing, and, and maybe that was, was part of it? I think the most important, most important thing for me is to stay patient. Um, Coach Sam, he told me a few times, slow down, you know. I think I was playing way too fast. And once I finally calmed down, you know, I finally started to see the ball go in, and that was good. But I think it all started on the defensive end, getting stops first, because that's what gets us going. Back to the room. This one's for Maisha and Mariah, uh, whoever went to start. Uh, Tennessee had never lost a second round game. I think the number was 28-0 coming in. So what does that say about not only the level of competition in the second round, but the accomplishment of being up there? <laughs> well, well, oh, you got it right. Well, we, this is the first time we're hearing of that, but regardless of if they, they had lost or hadn't lost, we just came to play our game. Um, and it's a huge accomplishment. I mean, all these second round games have been very competitive. So we weren't expecting ours to be any different, but I'm just happy our team was able to pull through. Aisha. Uh, like she said.